First look at Pixel Experience beta build based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And we finally have Pixel Experience based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Security patch November 5th, 2020. Kernel they're using is Etude kernel. And unlike Xiaomi or unlike MIUI, this is a beta build and not a stable beta. SE Linux, of course, is set as enforcing. In case you want to learn how to install this build, we do have a separate video for that, which can be found in the description of this video. So this is how the build comes out of the box. You do have Pixel Launcher baked in, along with some pretty cool Pixel 5 wallpapers as well, which do work absolutely fine without any issues. We can have a look at our recents. There it is, recents, super fast and super smooth. Let us try out the select feature. Bam, working like a boss. Screenshot works absolutely fine. Try to share it. Quick share menu in the building. Press and hold on any application and you can pin it to your quick share menu as well. Then we can have a look at our volume panel. So this is how the volume panel looks like. And yes, you do have the AOSP style volume panel. And if you swipe towards the right hand side, you do have your Google feed. As you can see, everything is super smooth. No jitters, no lags, nothing like that. And another good news, because this is Pixel Experience, hey, Google works absolutely fine, as you can see on your screen right now. The only issue which I found is that it does not work with the screen off. And no, you do not get Google Assistant 2.0. Then we can have a look at our quick setting tiles. So these are the different tiles which you have. And yes, you can always edit it. And these are the different options which you have in case you want to add more tiles to your quick settings. If you tap on the three dot menu on the top right, the only option you get is reset. So you do not get the option of changing the number of rows and columns for your quick setting tiles. And with Android 11, Google did add a screen recorder. So you do have a screen recorder baked in, which lets you record device audio and microphone. And you can also check if there is any lag in the system UI once you start screen recording. And as you can see on your screen right now, there are no jitters and no lags once you start the screen recorder. So that is good news. And whenever you want to stop, all you need to do is tap to stop. And there it is, screen recording was stopped. And in case you want to see the history, you can of course swipe down in your notifications, history, and bam, here it is. This is my notification history working like a boss. And before I forget, you do have the Android 11 Cats game working absolutely fine along with Bubbles. An important thing to note here is that WhatsApp does not support Bubbles right now and you cannot blame Google for that. You have to blame WhatsApp for that. Then we can head over to settings and have a look at the different customizations which you get with Android 11 and Pixel Experience. So we'll go into network and internet, tap on the Wi-Fi name, tap on it one more time. In the center, you have the new disconnect button, tap on advanced. You also have the option to enable or disable on a per Wi-Fi basis the feature of auto connect. Moving over to apps and notification, we can go into any application. So let us select the camera application, go into permissions and let us say location. So you will see you have four different options for location. So you have allow all the time, allow only while using the application, ask every time and deny. And this is something which Google did add with Android 11 along with the toggle to remove permissions if app isn't used for some time. Other than that, in the main page of apps and notifications, you do have priority conversations working like a boss. And if you go into notifications, you can of course enable or disable your notification history and the same applies for bubbles as well. Then we have battery. So in battery, you do have your thermal profiles which can be chosen on a per app basis. And these are the different options which you can choose for your applications. If you go into battery saver, yes, you do have the Pixel 5 exclusive extreme battery saver in the building, which does work absolutely fine. Then you can also enable or disable the 
light when the phone is charging and you also have a toggle to enable or disable the battery percentage next up we have display so in display you do have the option of scheduling your dark theme to turn on and off at a custom time then you have night light adaptive brightness go into styles and wallpapers you can of course change your wallpapers and you do get the pixel 5 style preview so let us say i select this pride wallpaper tap on it and now i have a good preview so this is how the wallpaper is going to look on the home screen this is how it is going to look on the lock screen if you want to apply it tap on the check mark on the bottom right so again pixel 5 goodies in the building go into style these are the different pre-baked themes which are present i of course have created my own custom theme as well so the different font options which you get here are the different font options which you get then you can choose between the different icon styles as well here are your icon styles tap on next these are the different accent colors you can choose and unfortunately my favorite color red is missing from the list but yes you do have a bunch of colors unfortunately no rgb accent picker and for the icon shapes here are the different icon shapes which you can choose from let us try this one tap on next give it a name you can choose whatever name you want to and just select apply bam there it is theme applied successfully icons changed accent color also changed working like a boss and then you can also change your grid style so these are the different icon options which you have so you have default 4x4 3x3 and 2x2 use whichever one you want to use then we have a toggle to auto rotate the screen change your font size display size screen saver go into lock screen you can configure what all notifications you want to see on the lock screen in case you want any text on the lock screen wake the screen for new notifications tap on advanced and you can configure your ambient display so you have hand wave pocket pickup all these options are working absolutely fine and then the last option in display is double tap to wake that option also works absolutely fine but before that let us check the proximity sensor and bam there it is you can see working like a boss next up you can check for double tap to wake here it is works absolutely fine along with lock screen weather the next option we have is sound so nothing new in sound except for android 11 style do not disturb which can be configured on a people app and alarm basis then if you tap on advanced you can configure your ringtone change these different toggles which you have so you do not have me sound enhancer or direct sound enhancer but do note this is the pixel experience rom and this rom is aimed at giving you the closest experience which you can get to the latest pixel device in terms of security you only have the option of screen lock and fingerprint which works absolutely fine unfortunately ir face unlock is not available on this build right now and i do not know if and when it is going to be added moving over to system we can go into gestures you can of course quickly open your camera by pressing the power button twice quickly when the screen is off in system navigation two different options for navigation three button navigation or android gesture navigation tap on settings and you can configure the sensitivity for the left and the right edge so unfortunately no options to hide the bar or the back button then in case you want to see device controls you have a option for that as well then you also have rules this is going to let you say turn off your wi-fi as soon as you leave your home based on your location or connect to your works wi-fi as soon as you arrive at work all those things can be configured using the rules option in terms of applications which come baked in so you do get snapdragon camera those of you who want to use the gcam ports i have linked a few gcam ports in the pinned comment on this video so yes reading the pinned comment on my video is a very important feature next up we can open the photos application and try to edit to see whether we have portrait light feature from the pixel 5 or not so here it is i am trying to edit the photograph you can go into adjust and bam there it is we do have the feature of portrait light and as you can see on your screen right now it does work absolutely fine so this is pretty impressive that you get the portrait light feature out of the box on this build and other than that you also get google recorder 2.0 as well 
then I did install DRM info to check for widevine support and this is a known issue that right now the build has widevine as L3 in terms of safety net I have magisk manager installed my device is not rooted right now so we can check for safety net and as you can see safety net passes out of the box which means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues next up we can check out the media playback using youtube along with picture in picture mode so here it is a pretty scary crash from today's f1 race and i am very happy that the driver is safe and sound so here it is as you can see pinch and zoom working like a boss live caption in the building as well there are no issues with respect to media playback we can also check out picture in picture mode so here it is picture in picture mode also works absolutely fine and with android 11 you can of course resize the picture in picture window in case you want to do that now in terms of your media controls in your notification shade they work absolutely fine you can also switch between the different output of sound so you can switch between one speaker and any bluetooth device which you have connected in terms of animations here are the animations on your screen right now as you can see app opening and app closing animations are pretty smooth in terms of recents here are the recents everything is super fast no jitters and no lags to report then we can try switching between the different applications here it is no jitters and no lags in that respect as well google feed absolutely fine super fast super smooth no jitters and no lags here either in terms of battery backup i have been running this build for a few hours now and me personally i haven't noticed any excessive battery drain here is the graph on your screen right now we did start at around 84 85 percent i set up my device played a few youtube videos and here is the usage on your screen so no excessive battery drain either all in all a pretty good build out of the box and those of you who do want to use pixel experience feel free to do so it is based on android 11 there are no random reboots or anything like that either so in my humble opinion this is a great daily driver build for those of you who want to play with android 11 on your poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you